right, so I'm over at my friend's house hanging out last night, go to say our goodbyes, and as I'm walking out, under the overhang of his front entryway, sitting on the concrete edge of a stem wall, I look down and see this sitting there. Uh, after like five agonizing long seconds of shock, I came to my senses, uh, quickly confiscated this from my friend and told him that I will do what I can to restore it. Uh, did not say whether or not I would give it back to him, considering what he's done to this beautiful tool. I've never seen a block plane in this kind of condition in my entire life, let alone a beautiful B. Nielsen block plane. So let's see what we can do to bring her back to life. This is like an evapo-rust type solution. Mix it with water and it's supposed to uh, remove rust without uh, destroying the metal or, or etching the metal. It's not a non-acidic formula. But first things first, I wanna take all the parts apart and try and remove as much of the, the rust as possible so that it doesn't just you know, wreck the solution, get the most out of the solution because it's only gonna be effective for so long. So I wanna remove as much of the rust by hand as possible and then I'll throw, throw the pieces in here. All right, so, I've been soaking overnight. I pulled the stuff out and gave it a scrub after a couple hours yesterday. You sometimes have to do that when the rust is really thick, just to break up the surface rust and then allow the solution to dig a little deeper, get down into all the pitting and everything. So, pretty severely pitted. So I'm gonna go through, give these a clean, and then probably soak it. one last time for another couple hours and then at the end of the day I'll pull everything out and uh, start assessing from there how we want to go about resurfacing these the bottom and the sides here
now that I'm looking at how beautiful this plane has turned out, the question I'm thinking is, do I give it back to my friend? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you dig this video, please give it a like and a share. We've got some fun videos on their way in the coming weeks, including this set of carving knives that I've just made, as well as the picture frame that a lot of you guys have seen on Instagram already. If you want to get to making stuff yourself, click on the link to our online school, The Maker's Mom, in the description box below. And until next time, Samurai Oak.